Okay, I'm trying to print these tubes. Now, this one came out fantastic. Um, this is um, a one millimeter thick, so it used two layers, two walls, basically. Found my printer is basically a wall per half a millimeter, so one millimeter gave me two walls, half a millimeter gave me one wall. And this is gonna be a skin for a model rocket. You'd slide this over a paper tube and adhere it. But I'm having a problem here. Down here, this first half is beautiful. I mean, this is, I, did, I wasn't aware these printers were this good yet. And this is just a MakerBot Replicator Mini. Um, this is just gorgeous. It's perfection. I, mean, I love this. But now look, as I get about halfway up, you can see I'm starting to get imperfections. And I am not sure what's causing that. I think I might know. And I hope I'm wrong because if it's what I think it is, I can't fix it. At least I don't think I can. Uh, hold on one second. Let me show you the thinner one. Okay, this is the half millimeter single layer. Same exact part, just one wall. It can delaminate if you crush it hard enough, but remember, this is going to be glued onto a paper tube, so it'll be plenty strong. And I see the same exact thing. The first half is fantastic. Absolutely smooth, absolutely straight. And then when it gets to about here, you start seeing the oscillations, and they get a little worse, where the surface is not smooth, it's not even. You see all these little dimples. And that's all the way around. That's every single facet is like that. What is causing that? How, is there anything I can do to fix it? My suspicion is that because this is so tall and so thin, that the actual nozzle head is pushing the object back and forth as it's printing. And that little force as the nozzle head pushes through the previous layer of plastic is actually rocking it back and forth slightly. And that's what's getting my imperfections there. I am not entirely sure. Does anybody have any idea? That? What, is there anything I can do to fix that? Let me show you the nose cone. Here's the nose cone. The base came out fine, that's beautiful. Perfect fit in the 24 millimeter tube. It's only a single layer on the bottom cap there. I'm not sure how to increase the thickness of that. Although it's not really important, it's plenty strong enough. But as you can see, it gets real bad as it goes up. I mean, this one's actually pretty rough right from the get-go. And this seems to um, confirm my suspicion that this part is actually wobbling as the print head touches it and moves back and forth because this one has a thinner bottom. The tubes are this thick, while this is only this thick with support material here. I don't know how much stiffness the support material adds, but you see it's a really rough finish. Now, with the nose cone, I don't mind going double thickness, because you usually want the nose cone to be heavier anyway, since that's going to hit the ground when the rocket recovers. Oh, there's a good shot. You can It hits the ground. I tried um, lowering the temperature. That does not help. It made it worse. It makes it brittle. This runs at um, 216 degrees Celsius. That's the stock, and apparently the MakerBot filament does not like going below that. When I, I got it down to 200 degrees to get rid of the stringies and the parts became super brittle. The layers weren't adhering together properly. So I could probably fix the nose cone just by going double layer, although I'm still going to have these lines, these jaggies where it's not smooth. The body tube on the other hand, I would really prefer the body tube to be single layer. Even though the double layer is stronger and looks better, I don't need the strength. Once this is glued to a paper tube, it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be plenty strong. And the double layer takes twice as long to print and uses twice as much filament. I could print this in 2 hours and 38 minutes, while the double layer takes 5 hours and 50 minutes to print. So I would much rather go thin layer. 